Well, ABC has suspended Whoopi Goldberg from The View for two weeks for what she said about the Holocaust. Goldberg has since apologized, but as WBZ political analyst John Keller shows us, she is not the first celebrity to get in trouble for something like this. The Holocaust isn't about race. No. No. It's well, not about maybe race. Maybe ethnicity. It's, it's, well, no, it's Jews about a different but, race. But it's about man's inhumanity to man. That shockingly false remark cost Whoopi Goldberg two weeks suspension and prompted this apology. Words matter and mine are no exception. I regret my comments as I said and I stand corrected. But Goldberg's gaffe is par for the course these days. The Nazi extermination of six million Jews has become a vulgar talking point for the likes of far-right Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene who compared it to mask mandates and vaccine passports. There is no comparison to the Holocaust and there never should be and that's what I'm sorry for. But the problem runs far deeper than clueless politicians or celebrities. A global survey eight years ago found more than a third of those polled had never even heard of the Holocaust. Parents need to work with teachers and teachers need to work with parents. And to Holocaust education expert Stephan Ellenwood of the Wheelock College of Education at BU, the rising tide of Holocaust ignorance can only be turned by mothers and fathers making sure their kids know what it really was and what it took to stop it. Very few people will develop into perpetrators and monsters, but too many develop into bystanders. And that's what good education avoids. John, that survey you mentioned is shocking. Schools have access to a range of curriculum resources about the Holocaust, but what can parents do if they want to help their children understand and learn? Well, Anna Redis, there's a wide range of resources available online, and Professor Ellenwood cited the website of the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum as an especially rich trove. But in this video-centric age, I think one of the best teaching tools may be the 1955 uh, or 1956 rather film Night in Fog. It's 30 minutes long. It's free on demand on YouTube. It features chilling footage of the Nazi death camps as they were liberated by the Allies and documents the atrocities that they committed there. Parental discretion definitely advised on that one. Links to both the museum website and the movie Night in Fog available on CBSBoston.com. Anna Redis. All right, John Keller, as always, thank you.